Welcome fabricators. We continue to get new and simplified functionality in Microsoft Fabric via data pipelines that we've never had before. And today we get semantic model refreshes and data pipelines. And we're covering that next on Tales from the Field. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 This has been an evolution. Uh, Way back in the day, we started out doing C-sharp calls uh, via the XMLA endpoint to be able to refresh models. Uh, we might have to nest that in a logic app and then call it in an ADF pipeline. We got the capability to do Power BI admin data set refreshes for semantic models. And then uh, in Power Apps, we have the capability to be able to do a Power BI refresh in a data set. So this has been a long time coming. And now we have a first class object that we can just drop in place and refresh one of our semantic models in Microsoft Fabric. That's a big deal. A quick reminder, if this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have our MS Tech Bits, which is where we are inspired by you, the community, or we're making a video inspired by our work with a product group or with a customer. And on Tuesdays, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. This is Wednesday, so it's an MS Tech Bits. Uh, as I was saying, we're talking about the semantic model refresh. Really amazing stuff. And it's wonderful that we now have it. Let's not talk about this any longer. Let's go take a look at this in action. I'm in my Microsoft Fabric portal. I've got a folder where I created my report, my semantic model, and a blank pipeline. And in here, I'm going to click Activities. And I'm going to go click the semantic model refresh. This is going to be really quick. One and done, we've got it. I'm going to name this exactly what it is, Deadpool 2 Refresh, because I'm refreshing my data set to look at Deadpool Tools Cinnamon Analysis on the way to Deadpool 3 coming out. I'm going to select, I, I'm going to have to authenticate, and then I select my data sets. I log into my workspace, and then I can select my semantic model. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to look at this, and I'm specifically looking for my Deadpool 2 sentiment. I've got some advanced features and functionality in here. We're not gonna explore that today, but it's nice to know that's in there. So I just wanted us to take a look real quick in case you needed this. For me, I'm pretty good here. I'm gonna go up to the home screen. I'm going to click on run and I'm gonna save this and run. This is gonna reach out to my Azure SQL database and this is gonna to refresh tool, uh, tables that I have. A couple new ones I've added specifically and some measures I've created for the report we're gonna look at in a moment. Now that this has succeeded, I can go back to my folder. Let's click at the report and let's take a look. And here we go. Now, this is a blast from the past, right? Back in time, six years ago, back uh, May 18th, 2018, almost six years, right? We got Deadpool 2. And when Deadpool 2 came out, looking at the sentiment analysis, it was overwhelmingly positive. There was some negative sentiment. There was some neutral sentiment based off information that we were able to get on the time uh, on tweets. Now, back in the day, we could go and we could scrape tweets. Uh, can't really do that as much anymore because I believe that API functionality has just been erased. But we could go and we could grab this and it was really cool. We could get this and then we could do sentiment analysis. You can see about 63% of our uh, sentiment was actually very, very positive. And looking at this, it was a period of a little over a week. The movie came out on Thursday, May the 10th for box office previews, and it continued through the 24th. Now, what we expect is that when the movie initially comes out, people excited to see the movie are going to go and have the highest sentiment. And that's what we see here. Really, really cool stuff. Neat to kind of look at and think of. I mean, heck, Wolverine and Deadpool is coming up. I'm super excited for that. Uh, how about you? Are you excited for your semantic model refresh? Are you excited for Wolverine and Deadpool? Uh, I know I am. I, I've already uh, waiting for my tickets, by the way. It should be dropping about a month out. All right. Well, you know where we want to keep this going. Down in the comments. So sound off. Anything you'd like us to maybe expand on in the future? We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us from Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another. Bye, everybody. Be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Yeah. Set your eyes.